YouTube, this is your boy Aaron. I am back with another video. Now today, we got the playoffs, baby. We got NFL playoffs. Now today, I'm gonna give you guys my NFL playoff prediction. It's gonna be very interesting. The wild card, what do you got? Seven teams, six, seven teams this year? It's absolutely insane. I can't wait. Now let's get it started. Now let's start with the Los Angeles Rams versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now this is, yeah. One of the best offenses in the NFL in Seattle Seahawks versus one of the best defenses in Matter of fact, the best defense in the NFL in the Los Angeles Rams. And they collide together. Who will win? I believe it's the Seattle Seahawks. Number one, the Seattle Seahawks defense has gotten a little bit better. They're middle in the pack defensively, but they can turn the ball over. And Jamal Adams, what is it, Carlos Dunlap, Bobby Wagner, these guys have been making plays with the Seattle Seahawks all year. For crying out loud, Jamal Adams has nine and a half sacks for a safety. That's absolutely insane. So I have the Seattle Seahawks. I trust Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, um, Tyler Lockett, who else? Um, Chris Carson. Um, you have um, the other running back with him, Carlos Hyde. They have all these different pieces on offense that they can use at their disposal. And then their defense is not is, is getting better week by week, day by day. And, but the Los Angeles Rams, the reason I can't trust the Los Angeles Rams, Jared Goff, his, his fingers. What, what's that all about? Will he be able to throw down the field? And they're not very successful throwing down the field either, which you need to exploit against the Seattle Seahawks because that's their weakness. So not only can't can't you exploit the Seattle Seahawks, but you are limited with your quarterback, your offense is not very dynamic, and Cooper Cup is going to be out. So although their defense is number one, I believe the Seattle Seahawks will prevail with the heroics from Russell Wilson. And I do think it's going to be a close game. But ultimately, it's Seattle and it's Russell Wilson. Let's go to the next game on the list, and let's go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Washington football team. Yes, I said Washington football team, not that other crazy name. Yes, I believe, hey, as crazy as it sounds, I believe it's going to be an interesting game in the first half, of course, because I think that the Washington football team will be able to get some pressure on Tom Brady because they have one of the best pass rushers in the NFL with Chase Young, De'Ron Payne, um, Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan, Jonathan Allen. These guys are unbelievable and I think they will get to Tom Brady a few times but ultimately the offense with Alex Smith him not being mobile enough, and him not being able to make the plays enough, coming back from that uh, horrendous knee injury, leg injury, um, salute to you, Alex Smith, but ultimately it's not going to help you because you got Tom Brady. Tom Brady is on the other side no matter how old he is, 43, 50, 60, 70. The brother can still play the game of football, can still sing the football. You got A.B., got Mike Evans, um, Chris Godwin, Rob Gronkowski, a decent old line Ronald Jones, all these different pieces, Bruce Earrings. And then you have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is top 10 defensively. I'm sorry, Washington football team. Y'all, hey, we'll give you, you know, a, um, what, what do they call them? Those um, um, participation award medals, whatever. We'll give you one of those for making the playoffs. But ultimately, this is where your time ends because you're not beating Tom Brady in Tampa. Okay. Now, let's go to the next game. Let's go to the... Really, I don't even need to spend most time on this, but the Chicago Bears and the New Orleans Saints. Now, let's be honest. Let's be real. I don't even need to go to the stats, but I will. New Orleans Saints, top five offensively, top five defensively. I mean, one of the best teams. Matter of fact, the complete team in the NFL today could arguably win the Super Bowl right now if they could. Chicago Bears, listen, just like the Washington football team, we're just going to give you a participation medal, participation trophy, like to do with these AAU tournaments with these little kids. All right, y'all, congratulations, y'all made the playoffs. Luckily, you know what I mean? Eight and eight. Sorry, but you're not being New Orleans Saints. Mr. Drabisky, you're not that good. I, I just don't see it at all. I like Allen Robson. I like Khalil Mack, but... You're just not beating the Saints. You know what I mean? Um, next game on the list. I'm very excited with this game right here. I'm very excited. Tennessee Titans, Baltimore Ravens. 
man, these two teams right here, it, it's reminiscent of the 2000s with Ray Lewis, with, um, with, um, with, uh, you know, back in those days when they had Ray Lewis and it was the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans going against each other. And it was just a war. It was just a battle, man. It was physical. It was absolutely insane the defense and everything else that was a rivalry and i feel like they are bringing this back this year because these two teams do not like each other but i believe that the baltimore ravens will prevail this year because number one they have been trending up lately ever since they lost to the titans early in the year man they've just been going absolutely berserk lamar jackson has been looking very very good very um proficient looking like the mvp that we know he was from last year for crying out loud and they're the number two ranked defense let's keep that in mind this team is scary this team is very scary they can be a super bowl sleeper let's not sleep on the baltimore ravens and then their offense has been clicking on all cylinders they're one of the best rushing teams in the nfl and their defense can not only stop the pass but they can stop the run and if you can see remember green bay game with tennessee what did green bay do they were able to stop the run and nobody thought they could stop the run stop and eric henry from going wild but they did baltimore they can stop the run their defense is one of the best in stopping the run so i think and then the additions of calais campbell the additions of um other defensive players as well um from the guy from the jaguars i believe they will be able to stop derrick henry and i believe they will prevail because i don't think ryan Tannehill can make enough plays to offset um whatever is going on with derrick henry and them not being able to run the ball so i have the, the baltimore ravens winning a tough one against the tennessee titans oh excuse me now the next game buffalo bills and indianapolis colts um i'm gonna go with buffalo i believe they're just too explosive their defense has been taking up recently they've been turning the ball over they've been getting um, interceptions after interceptions so I believe the Buffalo Bills will prevail I don't think that the Indianapolis Colts can put up enough points to um, keep up with the Buffalo Bills the defense is pretty decent they're top 10 but I don't think but I think there's a lot of um of things that the Buffalo Bills can exploit on the defense I've I've seen them over the past few weeks They've not been tr very impressive defensively. So I believe that the Buffalo Bills, I believe Josh Allen will get his first playoff victory. And I believe they will go to the divisional round. So now, next next game on our list, we have the, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cleveland Browns. How could I forget about those two teams? Now listen, I don't need to spend much time on this one either. Listen, Cleveland, y'all have a bad rap, bro. Let's be honest, y'all had a very bad rap, I mean... For crying out loud, that COVID-19 ain't no joke. They got y'all first, y'all got, you know, they got y'all um the COVID-19, the Rona got got the uh, the head coach, got the um the old lineman, got a few other um, coaching staff people, and um some other players as well. So I feel bad for you guys. I just don't see you guys being able to stop a veteran, veteran team led. Pittsburgh Steelers team with Big Ben Roethlisberger, who's been there before, with Mike Tomlin, who's arguably the best coach in the NFL. I just don't see it from you guys, so I'm not going to really spend much time on this one. Now, we have the divisional round. We have the divisional round. So, because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Washington football team, because Seattle beat the Rams, it will be Green Bay versus Tampa Bay. Now, this is an interesting game. This game right here, Tampa Bay, although they've had struggles chemistry-wise, continuity-wise because of the lack of training camp, because of the lack of OTAs, they are scary because of, number one, Tom Brady. Tom, it's, it's Tom Brady with all these weapons at his disposal. And then you have that defense. That defense, yes, yes, it's been inconsistent, but they're still a top 10 defense. They still have a bunch of talent, and this is the playoffs. But... Although they do have all that talent, although they do have a good defense, I still think that Green Bay and Lambeau Field with Aaron Rodgers with that explosive offense and their defense has gotten better week by week, day by day. Um, I just think that, especially the back end, I think the defense on the back end has been exceptional the past four or five weeks. 
Uh, I think that Aaron Rodgers will prevail over Tom Brady-led Buccaneers, Tampa Bay, if we want to just put it that way. Uh, I think that Aaron Rodgers is on a different level this year and he's out to prove people wrong. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Green Bay Packers on this one. Uh, now we have the Seattle Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints. Now, I'm going to go with the New Orleans Saints because they're the most complete team in the NFL. I believe Drew Brees, even though with that noodle arm of his, not being able to really throw past the field down, what is it, 50 yards, he can't really make a completion, pass maybe 30 consistently. I still think that the New Orleans Saints are going to win because I believe that the defense is going to be the key reason why they prevail. And that running game, Alpha Kamara, they're the, they're the what is one of the top three best rushing attacks in the NFL? Alvin Kamara is absolutely insane. What did he have like six touchdowns on Christmas? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Michael Thomas is going to be back. Like I said, Drew Brees is going to be there. You have Jared Cook. That O line is pretty decent. And then the defense with um, Cameron Jordan, with Malcolm Jenkins with um, the cornerback from Ohio State. They have all these different guys that they could use at their disposal, and I think they are going to beat the Seattle Seahawks, even though I like Russell. Seattle's defense is middle of the pack. I don't believe in them. I think they're going to get exposed against that rushing attack for the New Orleans Saints. Al Alvin Kamara is going to have his way against them. So that's why I have the New Orleans Saints over the Seattle Seahawks. Now let's go into the AFC, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Buffalo Bills. Now, I believe veteran, veteran leadership, Big Ben, Mike Tomlin, veteran-led team. I think that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to go to Buffalo and they are going to beat the Buffalo Bills because I do not trust Josh Allen. I'm sorry. I have to see it to believe it. I still think Josh Allen is one year away. I think that Josh Allen is a really good quarterback, but I believe that this team could be very, could be exposed. I think that they're not going to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers twice because number one, the Pittsburgh Steelers have been in these games before. They have been in the playoffs. They have gone through the trials and tribulations. Big Ben has been in the biggest games of his life. Mike Tomlin is one of the best coaches. Matter of fact, arguably the best coach in the NFL. So I think Mike Tomlin's going to outcoach Sean McDermott. I think that defense is going to get after Josh Allen and show him different looks that he hasn't seen before. And I think that the and then besides Cole Beasley, he's not 100%. Um, Stephon Diggs, he's absolutely insane, but they really only have him to rely on. John Brown has been in and out of the lineup, and then the running attack has been very inconsistent to say the least. So I will have to say that I will go to the Pittsburgh Steelers because I believe Big Ben will show up in these type of moments because that's who he is over his career when it comes into the playoffs. He always shines highest when the pressure is at the most. So I got to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I got to go with the veteran-led team right here. So now we have the Kansas City Chiefs, and then we have the um, Baltimore Ravens. Now this is a, wow, hmm. man. Baltimore has been on fire these past few weeks. Baltimore has been going absolutely insane. Lamar Jackson has been looking like the MVP. The defense has been playing lights out, the number two in, in the NFL. So I wouldn't be surprised if they upset the Kansas City Chiefs. But I don't think they're going to upset the Kansas City Chiefs. I can't bet against Patrick Mahomes. I can't bet against Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, this explosive offense that they have at their disposal. And they have a decent defense. The defense is is um, above average, the number 13 in the NFL. They um, they get turnovers. You have guys like Tyron Matthew, you have um, Rashad Breeland, you have Frank Clark and Chris Jones who can rush the passer. I just think that their defense um, with, with um, what's, what's his name, Steve Spangio, whatever his name is, the defensive coordinator for the team, I just think that they're good enough that they can hold Lamar Jackson in that offense down in that rushing attack. And I think that Lamar Jackson's inability to throw the throw the football consistently will show his way again in the Kansas City Chiefs game and Patrick Mahomes unfortunately will have his way with Lamar Jackson again and we will see the Kansas City Chiefs prevail. So now we have the title game, the NFC Championship game, the AFC Championship game. We have the Green Bay Packers versus New Orleans Saints. Now this is I'm not going to lie, this is a tough one for me because I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan. The Packers are 
the number one offense in the NFL. They have um, their defense is number 12th in the NFL rank. They top 10 rushing attack. One of the best passing attacks in the NFL. They have arguably the best receiver in the NFL. They have one of the best tight ends in the NFL, Robert Tanyan. They have one of the best running backs in Aaron Jones. MVP Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? But I don't see them winning. I'm going to be honest. I don't see the Green Bay Packers winning. And this reason why. The New Orleans Saints are the most complete team in the NFL. Although Drew Brees has a noodle arm, he can still sling it 15, 20 yards. And what I saw last year, and what I saw with the Minnesota Vikings, is that number one, your quarterback does not need to be Patrick Mahomes. It does not need to be a quarterback with a big arm. It doesn't need to be a quarterback that has to throw the ball 20, 30 times to get you to win the game. You know why? Because their Achilles heel is rushing. It's rushing defense. They can't stop the run. And who is one of the best running backs that can do that? Alvin Kamara. He six touchdowns in one game. Had one of the best fantasy performances of all time. And their top three in rushing in the NFL, and they're top five offensively, and they have Michael Thomas, and they have Jared Cook, and they have Emmanuel Sanders, and you have Drew Brees with Sean Payton, plus you have a top five defense that can rush the passer, and that can play on the back end with Malcolm Jenkins, with that guy from Ohio State, the cornerback, and then you have the, that other safety who's pretty good as well, and you have Janoris Jenkins. Man, I just don't see it, bro. I don't see it for Green Bay because I don't believe that defense can stop the run because that's going to be the key to the game. And I think that the New Orleans Saints are going to contain Aaron Rodgers in that offense enough where they can't score enough points to win the game. So I have to go with the New Orleans Saints to beat my Green Bay Packers. My guy Aaron Rodgers. I'm sad to say this, but I have to. Now we got to go to Pittsburgh versus um, the Kansas City Chiefs. I got Kansas City winning this game. I just think that Kansas City's offense is too explosive. They've been here before. They've won it. Patrick Mahomes is arguably the clutchest quarterback in the NFL right now. He is the best uh, player, best quarterback in the NFL right now. And I think they can exploit that uh, Pittsburgh defense, especially the back end with the corners and the, and the safeties, even though I like Minka, everybody else is kind of um, suspect. Uh, I just think that Kansas City's too good. I think their um, defense can hold Pittsburgh, contain um, those wide receivers like Juju and Chase Claypool and Deontay Johnson and Eric Ebron and all them other boys. I think they can stop them. So yeah, uh, I have the Kansas City Chiefs and Super Bowl, this, if this actually happens, my prediction will be Kansas City versus New Orleans in the Super Bowl. And right now, I'm, I'm going to wait for the Super Bowl predictions. Who's going to win? What's going to happen? I'm going to wait for another video. You guys will get that in another video if it does happen. And if it does not happen, then I'll just, you know, have another prediction for who, who what teams do make it to the Super Bowl. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.